Hi guys, it's Richard from Pick Nature. I'm sure you've all seen websites like this, where if you scroll, you're not scrolling like you usually would, but instead the website is scrolling automatically to the correct position with this nice effect as well. Now, this website was made by Huge Inc., which is an Atlanta-based design agency, so shout out to them for this. But how do we make a site like this ourselves, is what I would like to ask. Preferably with Elementor, because with Elementor you can make amazing websites. There are a number of ways to realize such a project uh, with a full screen scrolling website like this. One way, for example, would be to use CSS scroll snapping, which is a function in CSS. However, scroll snapping does not have many options and it has restricted usability on Firefox as well as mobile devices. So it's not actually a good solution. Long story short, the best solution I have come up with is this little JavaScript library right here. It's called full page JS. And as you can see in this demo right here, it's literally what they used at Huge Inc to make their website. Making a full screen scrolling website is very easy with this library. So that's what I'm going to be using. All you need for this is Elementor. You're going to need Elementor Pro for one reason, which is because we're going to use templates. There's a link in the description if you want to get it. If you ask me, it's one of the best builders out there and it has caused me to not buy themes anymore for every single website I create. So now I just make it in Elementor and there's no cost. So let's get started. Before we do anything, we need to load this JavaScript library onto our website. Now, how do we do this? We usually do this by adding code to the header of our website. There are millions of plugins out there like this, but this one right here is the simplest plugin I have found for this purpose. And once you activated this plugin, you're going to see this new tab here, which is called custom CSS and JS. So what we now want to do is add some custom HTML. And if you go either to the video description below or to our blog post, then you can see some HTML code, which I would like you to add in here. So now you want to make sure that you add this to the header in the front end of your website. And what this does is we now have loaded this JavaScript library onto our page. So now we can use its functions. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. So in order to be able to create our slides in Elementor, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create Elementor templates with each of those slides separately. And then we're gonna put these all into one site so that we have a full screen scrolling website. So let's do that right now. So if you go over to the documentation of full page JS, you're going to see here that the basic HTML structure in order to trigger a full page scrolling website is simple like this. You just have a parent div, you give it the ID full page, and then you have some child divs that each have the class section. And each of those sections right here is going to be one full screen section that's going to scroll, right? So let's set up this basic site right now. So Go over to pages, add a new page, give it some kind of title, publish it, and now let's edit it with Elementor. So again, this is going to be the skeleton of our page. We're not going to do any designing in this page. It's only the skeleton. Let's set up a section with one column. Now we want to add an HTML widget to this. And in this HTML widget, I'm going to put this basic markup from the docs. Now, but instead of just some section, what we're going to want is our Elementor templates. In each of those divs with the class section, we need to have an Elementor template shortcode. Let's go over to our templates. And as you can see here, I've already set up some slides. And this is exactly what you need to be doing as well. In these templates, you're going to set up the actual slides. So let's do one as an example. So let's create a new section, give it a name like slide five or something. Now what you want to do is create a new section. It doesn't matter how many columns you have. So here you can use as many columns as you need for your design. But the important thing is that you set this section height to fit to screen. So with the section height set to fit to screen, you can already imagine what happens. If I set to, if I put this short code in here now, then it's actually going to be one full screen section. So now you can go ahead and design this slide as you want. Okay, something like this. So this is how you set up your sections. Uh, I'm just gonna do this one example. 
But keep in mind the important thing one, have only one section in there, no more than one section. And two, set this section's height to fit to screen. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. And now you have all of those templates and the, they each have a short code. So let's go ahead and copy this short code into our skeleton page here. So I'm just going to put in the slides that I prepared. So now our basic skeleton is also done. What you now want to do is because Elementor likes to add paddings to our columns by default, we don't want those paddings. So set those to zero. These are the paddings on my column and also set the, the width to full. And you can also stretch it with the JavaScript, but that's not strictly required. Now, finally, before you're done with your skeleton page, go ahead and leave Elementor and go to the WordPress dashboard. And there's another thing you want to make sure, which is that you're not using some type of template with these pages because you do not want headers or footers to interfere with this design. It's not going to work. The best way is to use the Elementor canvas. Basically, the Elementor canvas is just a canvas with nothing. And that's what we want. So if I go ahead and update this now, let's see how it looks. It's not going to be done yet. So now, as you can see, we do have our pages. And this is the slide we just made, but there's no scrolling yet. And that is because we need to do the final step, which is actually start full page JS. So let's do that right now. For this, we're going to have to go back to this plugin and add some custom JavaScript. Now, in terms of this JavaScript, go ahead and paste the code from the blog post or from the description. Also, now you have the option to set some options, um, which I'll go over later. But first of all, let's take a look at our site. And you can already tell that there's a difference. So here now we have these navigation dots. And if I scroll, you can see it scrolls beautifully, just like we want it. However, there's going to be one major problem. If we look at the site in mobile, at this section, for example, you can see here that the content of the section is larger or longer than our viewport in mobile. If I want to read all this content, then I cannot, for example, read this content in the bottom here because I cannot scroll anymore. So how do we fix this? Luckily, it's actually really easy thanks to this library we, we are using. So let's go back to this code that we used to start the plugin. And in here where we have the options, we can go ahead and add another option, which is responsive. So for this responsive option, what you specify is a width. So what this means is if our viewport is equal to or smaller than 800 pixels, then it's going to go into responsive mode, which basically just disables the scrolling behavior. So if we go ahead and save this, you're going to notice now with this responsive option, the scrolling behavior is disabled. And if I have a section like this where the height is large or where the content is longer than the viewport height, then I can scroll it like normal and read it. The thing is, this is the easiest way to make your full page scrolling website work on mobile. However, with this JavaScript library, you have a lot of options to make responsive design as well. And I personally believe these scrolling, these guided scrolling websites are really good for mobile. So you want to make take advantage of those and not just disable it. Nonetheless, this is the easiest way to make it work on mobile without much work. If you guys want to find out how you can how you can fully utilize full page JS for mobile devices, you can let me know and I might make a video about that soon. Finally, to make our site a little bit better, what we can do is add a menu to our site. But you cannot use your normal menu without much hassle. So the easiest way to get a menu in here as well is to simply just put it in there with Elementor. So what I would do is, first of all, I would set this entire section, set the columns to stretch, and now use one column only. Now you can use an inner column for your text. So let's put that in an inner column and put this also into an inner column. And this is going to be now our menu, right? So let's set this column padding to zero since we do not need it no more. Now you would make your menu in here. For example, put your logo, navigation. You can just use a WordPress widget like this, for example, you could use this. So as you can see, now you have a menu as well and you still have the scrolling fun functionality. This doesn't look good, of course, but you know, this is up to you guys to make a beautiful site with this. But anyways, I hope you guys learned how to make websites with this. If you've understood the process, it's definitely quite easy and it's a great tool for making amazing websites. Just keep in mind to 
not fuck it up for mobile. So don't forget the responsive design. Keep designing nice sites. See ya.